Hi. Today I finally finished my project on time after so many difficulties. I make an employee management program for a nail salon and calculate salary and profit for employees and the owner. The system is divided into three main parts. The first part uh, manage the login account. The second part is employee information management. And I divide it into two types of employees, uh, the nail technician and the manager with different information entry requirements. Uh, from what I uh, recently established a debate classes and degree uh, classes for inherited. The third part deals with the calculation salary for employees. I had a lot of difficulties related to this part because of the uh, very complex. The program uh, will require the salary for each employee uh, by day and calculate salary by the time period. Now, let's go into the details of the functions that I use. Uh, the program has 19 files, including 9 header files, 9 implementation files, and 1 main function. There are about 80 functions in total. Yeah, it's a lot. Okay, so the first class I uh, focus on is the login management. This class uh, will handle features related to the user account. If you run in the program for the first time, it will create a uh, the login.txt file in the installation, and also create a default account including uh, username and password. However, I don't allow the owner to change the username and set the username to admin. Uh, password can be changed, and will be updated to uh, login.txt whenever you want. So now to take a look uh, about the function I have here. So I have one constructor, uh, getter setter functions, and three function for login, password chain, and load the file login. Now go to the constructor first. In the constructor, uh, whenever you uh, create an object of the login management, they will initialize the file name and set the username. Then they log into a log file login. In here, they will check the file is it or not. On uh, on yeah, if if the file is this, uh, they will pass, they will skip that line. If it's not. They will say that in the first login, uh, we a the default path. And here, we assign a default password. The, that form, that form means the form I uh, want to do or the want to write into the file. So here the password, here the delimiter, and that is the password we want to. After that, we uh, we a in vector and push it back. Uh, to the vector and add to the file. If the file is it, then we go to the next line. So, uh, first thing that we read the password from the account file. And the same thing, we had to read all files from the uh, business IO. And then we log the file separate to string and store in vector by the path function. The path function is a function that we'll uh, see later in the YouTube utility class to uh, to slip the string uh, by with the delimiter. After uh, that they will save the password into uh, the data member password. Another function is a uh, login function. The login function in here it will prompt the user to input the username at first. And they will compare the username ping to the username we have here and the bar username we the admin. And we you cannot change that. 
after that, uh, it will prompt you to enter the password. In the password here, you have to start to the password came and it compare with the, the password they read into the file. Hit that mask, they set that login successfully and they go to uh, create the object for the spot management and they go there <clears throat> for the next step. But if they get wrong, they will uh, say the incorrect password and from you try again. For the password change, the password change function change the password. So here the first is they will prompt uh, you to enter the password. The password can stays to the password can and then we compare the password uh, store in the file. If uh, if the password is matched, they will go uh, prompt you to enter the new password, the new password you want to. It doesn't matter if you type the new password uh, the same with old password, but if you type wrong, they will prompt you to uh, set a not match and you just have to try again until it's matched. After that, because you change the password, so you have to modify uh, the, the login.txt file. So you have to save the vector to the file with the form, like the password and the delimiter and your password here. And save in the update report in the uh, business I.O. path that we are uh, talking later. Okay, that all function I have in uh, the, the first class in the login method. The next class we are going to uh, go to is the utility uh, class. So this class contains the special function that are not dependent on any other classes in this project. In contrast, other classes can use the utility class to do some necessary work, like the flip the string, uh, check integer, check the leap year, and output necessary menu. I use R static uh, for these functions, so the program can use the function without repeating code whenever needed. Okay, in here you saw that I put in a static function because the other class they use a lot of this class, so I don't want to like whenever I want to use I have to create an object. It's very like annoying. So I put that in study function, so I don't need to create really object when I want to call the function. So there are ten functions in the class, and three are tasks. You may be like can feel about like I have all of three functions, but why I don't use a template, right? But that is because I treat them differently, so I cannot put it in a template. Okay, go in there. So the first one, the first path is you uh, get a string, delimiter, a jar, and I told you uh, before the form, it's in like that, right? And the vector, string, the vector string. So in here, they will get the vector and the string, and they split the delimiter by delimiter. After that, we put back in there. Same thing with a little string, but a different type. So now we use the vector integer. So first, as the same, we split the vector first, and for if the item, we push it into the vector and we have to convert the value into the int at the end. So you try cast here to cast like we have a k at least here, like we can convert a one to three uh, at a string to integer, but cannot convert it like one to c to integer. So in that case, they will go to cache and they will cut the arrow. The third path function is the uh, same as the first one, but the different in vector and double type. Vector double. So the 
value has to be that one. So all function need to like I check the value uh to pass the function to read in the file. Very helpful. The difference from the uh from that class to this class is I I I convert the string to the double, not integer like before. The next function is stream function. The stream function that I uh given a reference in the I found it in the C reference C uh, plus plus. I have very good shot for for you to find it. Why if not in here? The next one is check the integer. Check the integer. Uh, the first thing like you have put here, and if not digits, uh, the letter, you know, so the string is not a return the form. If, if, if not, the return the string. So the cool thing is, I also have to check the leap year. The leap year because, because in your uh, employee, uh, I have to type into the day at birth. All right. So sometimes the people have got the February twenty ninth or something, or they type wrong thing, or whatever type. I have to check it. So it's valid or not. So if you type, uh, for example, a nineteen ninety six in a leap year, if you type like February. 29 uh 1996 that's correct what you said that uh, february 29 1997 that's incorrect because in that year they don't have the 29 for the february all the function is just the the menu why add there because my most of the the the, the class they use that it is the spark management class the huge class called me like more than Hundred lines of code, so I try to flip them into here to make the code shorter and easy to read. Yeah, that other function in in the utility class. Now we go into the using the I/O class. In here we have eight functions and one constructor. You go. In the constructor, when the object this is the IO created, uh, we will set the name for the file, the name file. So the function open here, but for the F stream, so you the RF space in open mode, so like in out or can or something. And then we can true or false. The same with close one for the F stream too. The other function very important that we use a lot is the read all function to read all the record from the file uh, then save to the vector uh, record so we read for we read the line and add it into the vector until the end of the file so when you get line the file line here and we decrypt the string we have to decrypt the string because it relates to what what we do in the class encryption here so we, uh, it's amazing that uh, the file right here, the file you want to read, that encrypt already. So if you just read it normally, you cannot read it. So if you want to uh to read that, you have to decrypt that first. I will talk about in the next class. After that, they put back the uh the, the string and all the file. The next function is add the record into the file so the, rec the record is a uh, vector stores all item of the is of it like so same thing the first is we open the file in the read write and obtain mode that is read write and obtain mode then we write a new record into the file uh the same i do it like you cannot uh, get it directly. You have to encrypt before saving because now you add into the file. So for security reason, uh, I want to encrypt that so nobody when open that cannot read that. So I encrypt that. 
the call from uh, the function in the inscription class, and then I uh, place the file. After that, I pull the file. This for the next function is the remove the record. Remove record is remove an existing record by the ID into the file. So you create a file and you remove uh, with the ID. You search for the ID and then remove it. So at first, we have to read all the records first. And now we check if the record exists. If it exists, we remove it. But if not exists, we return the form. Same thing in here because we are uh, remove that we have to encrypt C to the file also and close when you encrypt. Another function is update the record. Update the record is very useful because I add the function uh, to update the employee information so we can use that to do it. So this function we found the record and update the record. If not found, you add to the file. The first thing in the file index of the record, we read all the record first here, and now it check if the record is it. If it is it, the update it, the update it here. Also, encrypt that too. And upload the file. If it not is it, so we add it at a new one. The next function is to check the record is it or not by the ID. In here, we also use the the uh, utility class. Uh, function path. The last function you would check it open or not and you ice cream. That function I use for the, the reverse path we're talking about in the login management. You check the file is open or not. If it's not is it, we, we will uh, create a new file and write the file. Write the information to the file. Yeah, that's all function we have. This function is kind of complicated, you know, because I make a uh, lot of time to to get through with it. Very really hard. However, talking about the encryp encryption file, that's very important, and I use a lot in the part of the uh, business I O we we talking about before. So. In this class, we only had like one data member and one function. The data member here accepted the, the key and then constant you know, initialize immediately. So I set the key to K. And we have another uh, function called encrypt and decrypt function and return a string. Detect to the string and return the string. Set is started because easy for me to uh, implement that and call that into another class. So we go here. So the method I use is called this the symbol XR uh, encryption decryption I found uh, online. So but I read it kind of easy just like adding add the K here by the operator called it exclusive or so that's way like why it called symbol because if I apply that method I don't have to write a separate function like encrypt function and decrypt function both I can combine together only one function and they can do all the work at once you can see the cool top stuff when I uh, run the program and then you can see the file how it changed but right now, if you want to turn off the encrypt or decrypt function, you just need to delete the key here and everything is the same, so it doesn't matter. 
So now it will uh, disable the encrypted request. Yeah, that's all. The function is too small, though, but it uses huge words. Very important for security. Day class is the important class because I use that uh, for uh, typing the um, day of birth and we also use to look up the day at for the salary for the employee. So today, this class is responsible for handling the day related to issues. For example, like gather and setter for days, month and year, convert days to string or vice versa, or compare the day to find a new day. So the function they have two different uh, constructor with a default value. The first one and it take the string and the second one. The setter and getter for six function of that. And then we have the I use four frame function. Three of them in the overload function. And the, the up overload the operator function. And the other is to convert the day to string. So Take a look of the uh, constructor here. In the constructor, this is kind of easy because, like, I just set the day, and month, and year when we we end object, and if it has the string, they will set we again set uh, day, month, year, and, and default is zero. We end a vector, and now we will pass. We use the function utility class, and we pass in here as you can see. We use the vector to pass with the uh, the path with the vector integer, not the path, the, the vector string we use for we use the integer with the delimiter de like that. So so you can tie it in month um the, the format in the month month day day year year with that delimiter. After that, it say to the other member. So that. I didn't uh, explain when the path, right? But here the 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 benefit of that one for storing that. So you amazing they had month month day day and year and pass by the delimiter uh, splat like that. So in the vector, the first uh they read before the delimiter in the month month. So the month it, they will store in the vector uh integer list value at the uh, index zero, right? So the day is and the next one to store at one, and year is the last one to store at two. That's how the password works. So we had to get month, get year here, getter and setter and another. So now with functions convert a day to string. So this function is helpful when we want to quickly print the days in the particular format when we want to. Like we want to uh, use for my, uh, I decide to month, Monday, day, year. First, here, here the format here, you see that. So the first we create uh, rival is called day, string day. And we get to string, get the month first here. And then you add the slot here. And you plot with the day here to make it like day day, and then you get the delimiter uh, slash here, and you add the year, you get the year and add into there. Then you restore the string day. So that by that way you had the whole uh, format like that. The next function is convert day to integer. You convert the day to integer. Uh, so helpful. We want to compare compare two days. Yeah, I use also. Uh, comparison for that because to calculate the salary uh, in the period of time. So I have an example here. So we have to compare, we have to uh, simply write that we have the 4 for uh, times 21, we have to convert to 4 4 to times 21 so that we can compare together. It's better. So the person we store uh, in the forget year, month, and day, day, month, year, doesn't matter. And you, you 
part of spring, part of spring, like man, day, and year. So like man, man, day, day, year, year, year. And then we convert spring to integer and return, return that value. For the overlock operation that, so we, I use to bring day, uh, in man, man, day, day, year, year, format. Similar, the limiter like that. Mm -hmm. For the overlock, uh, that overlock you compare or to figure out which day, which day is newer because we have uh, calculated the period of time, so we have to compare that. So they take two parameter of the day. They want they to restore an integer to compare to number, right? So they compare to number and they return true. They return true and they return false and false. Same thing, exactly the same thing with that operator. Yeah, it should have the day class word. For the employee uh, class, this class will store the personal information of the employees. This class includes the ID, name, date of birth, social security number, and type of employee. Additionally, the class get information of the employee by inputting the required information, converting uh, employee type uh, to string, converting information to string to save to the file. This functions in the father class, the day class. So it had many virtual functions become managers and name significance have input payroll differently. So at first, you see that I had a new class here. I want to make it another class, just three lines. So in in a new uh, class, we had the employee type. In here, we have the type of name significance. I initialize to be zero. So the manager is the one. And a Mac type is too. It's easy for me to compare or set or assign something. The first is the employee uh, constructor. Then you go through that. We had a getter and setter here. We had a virtual function so that the uh, the degree class they can override that in the name technician uh, class and manager class. They have to convert employee type to string and convert the information to string. Input payroll information calculate the payroll that is the for virtual class is set to zero. We have three functions to input uh, like input name, social so, so security, and input the day of birth, and one overlock function to uh, print out the information. The first thing the constructor, the constructor of the father class, so the year at the ID, name, day of birth, also, and type, and set the salary in 50 here, go all together and set her. The function get employer info is to get all information in the employee. So the first thing is we had to create an object of start manager. In here, we add the string into the input uh, employee ID. So here we will input the employee. And they will check some function in the uh, bar management later. Okay. After input the ID, now we store the ID into the ID. Next, you input a name, input the social security number, and input the upper. Oh, for the uh, convert employee type to string. Um, this one is how to bring out like is the employee manager, 
for the tithe they sent to manager, right? The tithe. But they returned the strings and manager nails technician and no is very helpful when you string it out. For the function input name, you add the user to input the employee name. The first is the prompt the user to input the name here. Are you because the problem of the program is are you get line and C. So I have to clean it in order uh, to get uh, to get rid of the error. Then the stream leading Australian space the text and pass into the utility class and store the employee name into the data memory. The input social security number the add the user to input uh the social security number. The same thing if from the user and store it to the social security number. Add user to input the employee birthday. In here they have the thing. I checked the value date for the uh day of birth. We have the form we have the month month day day year year. Yeah. So I have to check the valid day input for A. All the key in changes here. When you input the rather than uh all months and the A A the for the A I just like sixteen to sixty five. Yeah. Yeah. And the get day if you uh input the day rather than thirty one or the um negative day or something it will it will prompt you again to input again and also here they, they check the list here and they will call the function in a utility class to check the list here for you if everything go through it will uh, store the day of birth store into the day of birth day my birth the next function need to convert information to string to convert that so you return the string and we add by the form into the file. It's easier for you to look at the file I will read later to see how how it looks like. And overlook the functions to bring out the uh, ID name uh social security and ID string. Uh, and they are bird. Forget it because that is the overlook function. So the the virtual function. So it will change in the nail technician class. For a nail technician class, this class is inherit from the employee class and could calculate salary for the nail technicians. The class can get the employee information through this parent. And add the specific nail technician features. Nail technician salary calculate is received through the a service, and they receive sixty percent of the service fees and one hundred percent for the tips. In here we have the uh, constructor get a get get a function and get employee function override from the employee class convert info to string also override from the employee class all the function in here we just like override from from there okay so now we go to that part for the functions uh get employee info Exactly because the the the, the nail technician is not mm, they don't have like much information different than with the employee what I I I did it so it just like just uh, bring it out the information in the nail technician and then do the same of what the uh in the employee class the same function is here the input payroll in the input payroll information. They did kind of like annoy a little bit. So 
the way I think I did, like, for an significant, they get the money from the uh, service, right? So, in a day, they maybe get the one customer, or they want to get 10 customers. So, the way to calculate the salary in one day is you, the owner has to type its receipt and separate by the, the plot. Because several find the plot, so now I can pass you the utility class and pass it into the uh, with the plot uh, delimiter. Beside that, I have to prompt user to enter the tip to and the same one, delimiter is the plus one. After that, we add the tips into uh, from the, the, the list. The next function is convert information to string. That exactly the same function in uh, employee what we did. So I just add into the base string and return the base string. For the calculation payroll. So the way I did told before, we got if, uh, for example, if the nail technician got a service a hundred dollar, they will receive sixty dollar and forty dollar for the uh, the owner. But if they uh, got uh, one hundred dollar and they got ten dollar for tip, so they will got sixty dollar from the uh, the their servant and whole ten like one hundred percent tip, so they will get seven. Seven dollars in total. Um, the manager class is also uh, inherit from the employee class, and it could uh, calculate the salary for the manager. The manager needs to be provided with hourly wage and daily hour. Hour for matter integer and uh, no overtime because of the fact that the manager working in the nail salons. With will only receive fixed salary hours. Yeah. So in here, we have one constructor uh, functions. Okay, employee info, convert info to string, override function, uh, input payroll, also override function. Override function here, and a set function for the salary per hour. Okay, we go to detail. And I get employee uh, information. They the override function from the employee uh, class. So they get all information uh, of the employee. So it's kind of same at the beginning, like we probably uh, we, uh, get like a following function for the manager here. You get the employee uh, info, like uh, name, social security number, uh, day of birth, and ID, right? But for the manager, it's different than the uh, nail technique. The nail technique, they get the salary from the sub that they have. So they had customer and they pay for them. They get the money and they, they uh, slip that to 60% for them and 40% for the uh, owner. But the manager, they don't work for a customer. They manage the spa. So they will uh, get the salary, salary per hour. They prompt you to like go to the next function to set the salary for the managers. So the salary uh, per hour, normally when they ask for a real, uh, real managers working in a nail technique, they got like 10 bucks an hour, 15 bucks an hour, 20 bucks an hour, it depends. So I promise user to enter the salary per hour for the manager. We validate that too. And we check in that and if everything good we convert uh if that is a double or something you convert or you can string to integer uh, in here integer and store in this, in this salary the next functions 
either override function from the employee uh, class to convert employee information to string. The first time you store, it's uh, convert to string to the base string. And it's kind of hard to uh, decrypt for you. Uh, I can decrypt for you when I run the program and see, let you see the, the file, how the file does. But that is at the end, at the end of the file, uh, in the line at the end, it will add more uh, one delimiter like that. And they will add the salary for the, uh, only for the manager. The nail technician doesn't have that. And re they return the string. For the calculate payroll, that you to calculate the payroll. Uh, because the hour and salary per hour are both integer, but the function returned a double. So I, I use the pass, a static pass for them. It's fine if I use like the normal pass like right, in or something like that. But uh, for the static pass, uh, I read out and they said that they said that it's safer because um, if they had any error or something, they can show me and the compiler, uh, like compiler time. The input payroll information in a function to get the payroll information. So they will prompt the user to uh, to enter the hour um, that manager working for that day. So also check the valid and store at the everything good. So store that into the hour. Uh, this is the last. Uh, class IVA and it's the Spark Maintenance class. So the class will manage everything related to the nail salon if uh, it will first set up the achieve uh, file reading then we process to retrieve the request to the user for choice. Uh, the class will display the necessary menu types and Ask the user to choose. Employee options include adding a new employees, update employee information, delete an employee, and display all the employee information. In addition, this class is responsible for the calculation of uh, sal salary and income for the nail salon. So, this is very important class because it contain all the calculation and all things in there. So the first study I use the map, the string and employee up where to the name of employee list. So the first one I will store the ID and the second one is the pointer point to the employee class. We have the constructor here and the structure also because I will initialize the pointer so the destructor will destroy that uh, to avoid the memory leak. For display menu, I have five of them to display the main menu, payroll info menu, the calculation, calculate salary menu, uh, employee manage menu, and we have some function like add new employees, update uh, employee information by ID, and delete the employee, display all employee information to the screen. Uh, also, I have a check in the system contain the employee ID. So you the I contain E contain employee. And this function is started for input employee. If you remember, I use a lot of the function for another class to from a user to input the ID. That is a very special function uh, because I just accept the, I get the validate in there and the ID it contains to the main thing because like you have to check everything by the ID. So next function is log employee from file and update payroll info by day. Calculate total salary for the uh, nail salon. So first, go to the constructor. If you, uh, if you re-a an object of this file management, 
they will uh, initialize the file, employee file name at the employee information dot txt, and for the payroll, I will uh, create the pay uh, the name the payroll dot txt. So the first function in a log employee from file. So first, uh, uh, to make sure the empty uh, the factory empty before adding item. So then we read all the employee record record from the check file. Uh, we use the business IO um, and we read all functions in there. After that, for each employee, uh, we get all information of its data. So now we pass record list here at the, the string and pass here. That's also the, the vector string and pass in the delimiter that one. So in the file, I will show you later. So they have the at the index zero, they the, uh, contain the ID. In that one, it contain the name. Two, contain the social security number. In that three, they contain the day of birth. And in that four, they contain the file, uh, the type, like uh, the nail technique or the uh, manager that we have. And here you can see that I initialize the uh, pointer employee uh, to the no pointer because I have to use that later in here. So in this, uh, so now we have to like from choose what type to point to before the polymorphism. So we have like if the had uh, the user to the um nail technician, so they we create a new uh. For, for a nail technician for an employee and if they choose the manager, they, the pointer will like initialize for the uh, manager, the pen. After that, uh, they will store the ID, the, the employee into the uh, employee list with the specific ID. For the add new function, so add new, uh, add new employee. At the same, the first one we need to initialize a new employee a pointer to no first. And then we prompt we prompt the user to uh input the type of uh, the employee you want to. So it has two types, the manager and the nail technician is zero and the manager is one. At the same case in the, the beginning, so um, they have like if, if they choose the nail technician, they will point to a uh, nail technician for the polymorphism and the manager at the same time. So, depend on uh, which type of employee, uh, corresponding override uh, method will be called. So, the get information uh, depends on either the, the nail technician or the manager. We choose here before, and then new employee to get the ID. We point to the ID, and in the uh for the index of the employee list here, the source thing you got. After that, we call that the add new employee. So we had to add that uh we update that into the file. Also, we add new into the file. I put back the uh vector string. And uh, with the new line at the end, so we add with you this function add record from the vision IO. The next uh, function is update employee info. We update the employee information. So the first thing, the same, we have to check. We have to call the input employee ID. That is the static, so that's how we we uh we implement that. We also create the pointer to the for the ID, yeah, because we search by ID. So in true, we call the function from the utility file to show the menu, and now the user uh, can from the choice they want to, like they want to update. The name, update the 
uh, social security number or update the day of birth. And they report to that uh, function. So after update, he also had to update into the file. And he gave the function update record in the business I.O. Update by uh, pass by the ID and the, the string. For the same function delete employee, the first you had to ask the users to input the employee ID. Same thing with uh, the beginning function. So that it is a static function, so I implement it like that. Uh, if the employee ID doesn't exist, so we print the error uh, message. Uh, otherwise, we remove it. So how to remove it? First, we uh, remove from the global list. So uh, we set the pointer employee point to the ID, and we call the array function of a vector to remove the persistent item at a persistent index. Also, I, I need to delete the employee here, the pointer. And uh, after you remove everything in the uh, the map, the list, you have to remove the employee from the file too. So I call the function uh, remove report from business IO and pass the ID remove in the file. The next function is uh, a contain employee to check if employee exists in the list and to tell in the list to that if the ID uh, is it or not. Is is yes, so we can true. If it's not, we can false. The next function is input the employee ID we use uh, several times in above. So they prompt the user to input the employee ID and the string. So make sure there is no leak in each relevant. So I use the, uh, the function from utility class to trim. And if the ID in valid format for the validate, they will uh, send the error message and uh, prompt the user to try again. Uh, if otherwise, they stop the loop and uh, return the ID. The next function is display main menu. Display main menu do uh, uh, the menu different utility are to display and the, the user has to charge to make a choice. So they have two options. So they have display employee management menu and display payroll menu have to uh, have we uh, okay that's up. For the display all employee in four, we will display um uh, like the ID name, uh social security number, type and day of birth. That thing is on the console when they print out. Then we print its employee information. Now we use the interpreter. I name that IC and it uh from they throw the list of employee list from the beginning to the end. And I point to the second. The second is mean the employee order, right? The first one is ID, and the second one is the employee order. And then it bring out the employee in there. So also I count the total number of employees here by using the site to uh, bring out this, uh, how many uh, employees did you have. The next function is display the, the payroll menu. So display the payroll menu, you also have to call all the menu I put, I, I, I put, up, I put them uh, in the utility phone classes. So payroll and then I can make a choice for the update payroll for employee and display calculate uh, salary menu. You see that there are, there are a lot of functions and lots of uh, stuff to do on this part. That is the main class to control everything in your in your program. So for display uh, employee management menu, they uh, have a choice and for the display or employee information, 
add new employee, delete employee, update employee information, all the functions that are on this bar are management. So now we uh we work with the calculate calculate salary menu. So for calculations, I set up at a period of time. So we have to from the start day and the end day. And then we move to the function calculate total salary max. In here, at the first we had uh we get the total salary for all during uh du duration of the day. First one, we had to read all re records from the payroll file. Here read all all records here. And then in the record, we had to pass to get information. That is a string, and that is uh, the vector string. We pass uh, from the function from utility utility class by delimiter. So we get the day. We prom and get the day at the index zero. Now we use the operate operate overload operator. We set up in the day class to compare two days. So if the day is uh radio equal to uh, the start day, all the days is less than the end day we from for here. So we get that for the value day. We get the total income and how to calculate it. Beside that, you have to get salary from each employee. So because the salary of each employee is from the second index, from the near last index. You, you will uh, figure it out when I run the program and I show you uh, the payroll.txt how, how they how, how they write in there you can understand that. So the index is from one to sign negative one. Next one. And to pass the salary from the string for its employee. I will assemble the flag right here for you to understand that we have to pass by equal uh, in the file. So that's why we need to pass to pass the equal here to get the information. If uh, they did the first uh, nail section for the employee of this day, the total salary is also the latest salary. If it's not the first of this day, it change the total salary by summing with the latest salary. Then we print out in the console the total salary and the sal salary for its employee. The total income is what the employee they earn. Uh, without like they have the receipt a hundred. They get sixty and they own the forty, so the total income is one hundred. If they got one hundred and they got ten dollar for the tip, the total income will be one ten. So now we need interpreter to uh get the salary for the second one is the double here. So we have the employee ID and we bring the salary in there to so show each salary of the employee and the profit. The profit is the profit of the, the owner they can get. That like you have two employees, one is 100 uh, for, the, um, for, for that day. The second is uh, 50 for the first day. So the total income uh, the first part is uh, 150 and they minus with uh, 60% of uh, 150 so they, the profit of the spark. Sorry, it's kind of hard to understand uh, in here, yeah, but at the real life, I asked the, I asked the, um, the owner of the nail salon for that. So the the update payroll to the text file will uh, update payroll uh, by the day. So first, 
uh, restart to save the file and append a day to the screen. Hmm. To update the payroll for all employees on the day, to report to the second, and they get the salary. Here, they append. Append. Salary to the screen and calculate the, the total income this far. The third, so they obtain the total income to the screen here and they add a new line to the screen at the end. Uh, after that, they write uh, the screen to the text file by using the update report. The next function is update payroll for employee. So that is a function you add the money and the tip for a specific day you from. Like uh, today is uh, um, April 25th. So you type for uh, 25th and 2021 in here. And it will add you the ID. It will add you your ID for that. I also had the validate for the ID in here, uh, for the streaming and check for e integer from the OTDD class. If the input is zero, uh, it will exit the, the program. To check if the ID is six, if not, the output the error here. After, after update a new payroll, we uh, update that into the file in here that we did before. And the last one is the de destructor. So we destructor the spar management because we create an a pointer employee. But to avoid any uh, error, I always uh, create and initialize the vector you no know, the pointer um at the beginning of the function and then we can delete that when we run out the very cool. Yes it's all we have. Thank you. Now I have to show you how to run the program. Uh in the main function at first they will create object logic management uh, they call the constructor of the login management, and then they will go to login menu, log login menu. So they had option to log in here. So I had to show you right here. I have uh because my program they are have the encryption function. So I will show you in encryption decryption first, and then I will uh disable the that function to uh let you see how the, the text file they contain. Okay, so now, because this, uh, I will delete uh, all the, yeah, the first time I I debug, uh, I run the program, so they said that the put login with a default account, that admin, so they set the ID, the admin, and the password being one, two, three, and they are store they, they store the password one two three into the text the the login dot txt. So now we go to check that. You see that by encryption by the exclusive or uh with the key the k. So they change everything is not uh the password. Uh as we can see that's for the security. So now I try to turn it up and. Uh, turn it again to see that do they do they VA the message like that uh, in the if they had uh, already have the login dot txt okay now you see they don't have uh they, we don't have any message like that so because we only have that file on there already so now we check like I want to change the password so the current password is uh. One two three at the default password, and uh, I want to prompt the new password be one two three four five six or something like that. So the 
a prompt again if I type wrong and no wrong. So I type again when I click and I type right. So they said that pipe will change successfully. So now I log in and now uh, the, the default uh, the fixed username on always the admin and the password. Now I try to, to type like one two three the old password. It's wrong. So now I try uh admin and then I get the new one. Yes. Alright. So now you see you can see that they have the menu with the uh first then go to the employee information section and go to payroll section or go back to the login section. So if I choose one, so they have delete all the menu like print all the different uh, check it one first. You see because we don't have any information from the employee yet. So they will not bring anything here and they will have a number of employees zero. So now I try to to add the new employee. So I add the reprom you should put zero net and you can a one and try to put two. And it said that invalid uh employee type add it again and now I show that the new technician. Uh, they said for ID, the ID has to be the number. You can pick uh, any number you want, but I recommend to pick like 1, 10, or 100, depends. I want. So the first name, then my name, last name, and my name, I'm the name of the Yeah, so now they had to enter the social security number. In the social security number, I think you can, like, no space, but you can type whatever you want, you know, exactly that form. Because I won't check it because uh they have the update information for employee. So if the owner they they use that and they wrong, so they can update that later. It doesn't matter. So I try it like then yeah. And they ask for a day of birth. Now day of birth as I told you before, I had to check the valid of the day of birth. So they had month, day, year. So I try to get like month 13, day 1, year 2000. Oh, is that a month like that? Okay, I try day, say like month 1, and day is uh, 1, and year is like 7. It's valid input. So now I try year, because I prove that it greater than 16 and lower than 65. So if I try like, uh, let me see, 2007, yeah, they said not the age word. So I want to try the leap day also. So the leap day is on 2000, here's the day. So I will try that like 229 leap day. But uh, 1999 is not the leap year. So, because input, they will not leave you, but then we move to 2000. Yeah, correct. Con successfully. So now, I will show bring on employee function. So, if the, uh, yeah, it show that I want I to type in there, to type nail uh, technician. I also want to add uh, one manager to see. So, manager, so that, that I pick, uh, one. No, they said that the ID had been used. Try right, again. So, two. So, first name, last name, Jason K. So, my name. And, and the number here. The day is one, 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 as you can see, we use uh, the delimiter is very delimiter very important here because I pass I use the pass uh in a utility function, so I said that it is flat by that, so you have to follow that. If not, they cannot like split the string correctly. So they add a salary per hour for the manager. The manager uh normally I said that the uh twenty hour twenty dollar an hour per hour. So now I bring, so you can see that nail depends here. But now 
I want to see in the tech file, the larger tech file, but no, the tech file, because we, I encrypt that, so you cannot see uh, what, what in there. So now I try to remove employee. I try to remove body. Ah, uh, employee is like what? So now I bring again. So the ID one is gone already, and I two. But you can figure it out in the file. Yeah, they update that. Only had one line right now. So I think I look back and let's see here. For you to understand right now, because right now I want to disable the uh, encryption, so I go to where the file. Sorry, where's my guy? Right here. And I choose here. I had to delete all of the file in here. Even though now, if I don't, that I get the error because I turn up the encryption and they don't understand what is in the file. And now I go to encryption and I Disable the encryption. Okay. So, because I, I delete the files on right now, when I log in, instead of login with a, a default account, uh, default ID, admin, default password, one, two, three. But now, when you check the login here, see, now I can disable the encryption. So, they had the whole thing here password, password here. One, two, three, the password. And now I want to log in everything to say. So here, password here. We go to the section. And I want to add the employee right now. So one, like that. Oh, the, that's what I did, sorry. One, name, social number. Uh, Yeah, you see, they still allow that. So right now I want to say the social number in here. So they add the ID as a one. And I will update the social number and this is number two. Let's add for like four 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 five five six 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 six. Yeah. And now they I go back to bring on yeah, they update it. I go into the file the employee information .pt here. You see now how I uh, write a file like that. So that's why I use the pass function a lot to read and uh, pass with the delimiter. In here, I use the dot delimiter. So the first one, the ID. The second one, and it told you the name. The third one is the social key number. The fourth one is the, uh, either they are bird and the last one is the type. The type zero is nail technician and one is the manager. Okay, so now I want to add more, add more employee. Uh, one more, mm, agent number two, uh, nail tech more one. <laughs> okay, I also want to add one manager. Manager here in number three. First name is boss. Twenty hour, twenty uh, dollar per hour. Right now, we have three employee. Okay, so now let me check the file. As you can see, number one, ID number one and two, ID the name technician, they're the same. 
but the miniature is you. They have ID, they have name, social security number, they have their birth, number one represent for the uh, manager, 20 represent for the salary per hour. So now that's all we can do like, but I want to remove, now I want to remove uh, and they'll check. I got three. I only have two, so we check the file again. Oh, they'll say that. Yeah. They did it number two, and uh, we have number three. Here. Open all. Okay. Uh, all look good. So now we go back, and now we uh, go to the calculate the salary or uh, add in the salary for the employee. Number two here. So in here we have two options. First one to update the payroll, and second one you calculate the salary by roughly. I recommend you to add the uh, only update first because you have to get the employee uh, for the employee first, and then you also have to calculate. If if not, it's also like display zero. Okay, here and into the one they will um let me from the day for the employee for that day so i will like that's like yesterday for one and i have phone number i have number one i either in the information here so let me see i have like the farming 15 50 or 100 so you calculate that they got 50 right they got 50 okay yeah and it took tip tip I get it, uh, 20, 20 to 40. So it got 60 from the, uh, the work and 40 for the tip. So they will get 100 total. Okay. And also, I want to look for the, the manager in the ID number three. So the hour and the work day, uh, three hours. Right. Okay. That's it. Then you go back. Mm. And then you calculate. So calculate that is a period of time. So you have to uh, type like okay, three, uh, one, and end day is four, and four. See, they will from you the total income that we told before. The employee one is the next, and then they got 100. It's right, right? And the total income is 140. But the the manager, they are got sixty because they got twenty dollar per hour and they work for three hours, so they sixty. So now the profit of the business, they got minus twenty because that one from the customer they got they cut all the money here all the, for the customer they got, but you had to pay for they had to pay for the manager, so that's why they got. 140 minus 100 minus 60 and they only have negative 20 no profit uh, hi sorry uh i will wanna check another case for the payroll for it uh, login and go to payroll to update like i click the four penny anymore and i go to the id like 50 and 50 and to the ten and then calling me three for a day to two hour day. That's it. And the update for another day. Like four twenty one. The time twenty one. The data ID is uh one hundred. Tip is one. And manager that the uh work two hours. Oh, sorry. No, three. Hours. And now we looking for the file. We had two lines with uh, information. Yeah, no. Here, so now we calculate the period of time. So I tried to put it out of the range. My first name is on the wall. Oh, 19. 
the his shoulder is zero because he's not in the ring. And now it included. So four uh, one and four. Now they calculate. They add the big one for the clothing con. Employee, they add uh, two days, so they add the big thing to that big one, and that is for the 80 for the manager. So that one is what that one is, uh, uh, 211, and the total income is 211 from the minor, so the profit is zero, but they have to pay for the manager. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.